You know very well why you're here, so, let's spare the intro and get started. I mean this is a common sense that you need a ticket bot. Just get that from their website using the link in the video's description. Secondly, you must have noticed that I have created these two channels, Ticket and Transcript, just do as I did. And make sure your members don't have send message perm in those channels. Now let's go to the tickets dashboard. You have to log in here using the same account that is the owner of the server. And now click that dashboard option. You will come to this page. If you can't find your server here, click the refresh button. After clicking your server, you will come straight to the settings page. This option asks how many tickets a user can open per day. I would suggest keeping it around two to three tickets so that people won't spam. Here, don't allow users to close the ticket. And that's it, just copy everything that I have selected here. As I mentioned before, here you need to select the transcript channel. This will come very handy, trust me. I reckon the rest of the options here are not that useful and important, so, I suggest you leave them be as they are. However, before moving on, make sure to scroll down and click submit button to save everything. Now we will move to transcript feature. There's not much to say here. If you haven't created a separate channel for transcription, you can still come here and open the ticket history. But in my opinion, big servers such as my own usually use this to save our time. I forgot to mention that transcript channel is a staff channel, so be sure that your members can't see it. In the staff team channel, you can add your support team. I recommend creating a support team role and assigning that role to your trusted members who can handle tickets. Add that role here. If you don't want to be that fancy, just use the staff role, there's nothing wrong with that either. The first option is to add members and the second option is for role. I recommend you use the role feature because it's much easier. And that's it. You have created your own customer support team. Let's move to the next one. I guess in ticket option, you can see all the open tickets maybe. Anyway move on. In blacklist option, this is just self-explanatory, do I even need to explain this? You just need to add a member or role here who you are going to blacklist. See, rather than adding member one by one and do the donkey work, I suggest you create a separate blacklist ticket role and add that here. So when you want to blacklist someone, just give them that role so they can't use the ticket feature in your server. It's just super smart. Ignore tags and move to forms. I don't know how to explain this part, so, just do as I am doing. Right now, I am creating queries and report user form. You can create the forms on any topic you like, it's your choice. However, after that, you can ask question here and select either one option, short answer or long answer. Click save. Let's do report user form. Here, I will ask two questions, just watch this carefully. I know you all are confused why I am even doing this and you know what. In the end, you will know why I am creating these forms. Just copy everything as I am doing here. To write more than one question click add input. Now just repeat the same thing. Now we will move to the last feature which is the reaction panel. No need to get panicked by this, I am with you. Just do exactly as I am doing. We will be just filling out the details. Add that support team there.
Here you can add staff role. Yes, they should be pinged for this. Just select the form we have just created. Also I want to point out, just ignore things that I am ignoring. One thing is done. You can find that in our server too. But don't need that thrash so I will show you something even better. Let's do report user reaction panel too. Make sure to change the form too. Now I will show you why I created those forms. Before a ticket is opened, members are forced to write their complaints here so your time is not wasted. Now what we will be doing here is very different. We will be combining these two reaction panels into one. I know it sounds confusing, that's why, just watch me. I've already created decors and layout here. You will find this layout and decors in my Discord server, so, make sure to join up. You have to select all the panels here. I guess you can create three maximum panels. Watch this part carefully when I am copying the GIF links since most people make a lot of mistakes. But anyway, from the design, you probably know this already that I am doing Christmas theme. Since everything is done, click submit. And I guess everything looks cool. We will test it out. This one's just same as before, so I will only show you how the transcript works. The ticket is open. Now we will close it. And you see a member will receive a DM. They will ask them to rate it there. When a ticket is closed, you will find a new transcript in this channel. If you don't know what it is, I will show you. In easy words, it's just chat history, so yeah, that's it. I know there's nothing special about it, but, it's helpful. But by the way, I kinda hate my divider, I mean I am not that impressed, so I will change it. I think it should match with the thumbnail and overall decor of the message at least. If you don't know how to change it, then, just watch this part. Now it looks so pretty and I feel satisfied too. Anyway. 
I feel kind of tired after recording and editing this long video and I had to make a video on Ticketbot since I didn't feel like I have made a detailed tutorial video on it. But I really hope that you liked this video and if you actually did then hit like and subscribe button and get that algorithm ticking. Get this video viral. So yup, until then, take care and see ya.